Hi, this is Sabah Musharraf and uh, today I'm sharing a sliding envelope tutorial which is inspired by the sliding card shared by Splitco Stampers. We're going to start off with heavy black uh, card stock which is five and a half inches wide and uh, we will begin by scoring it at half an inch and then four inches, seven and a half inches and 11 inches now we're going to come back in uh, from 11 inches and mark out an inch in the middle so that's 8.75 inches and 9.75 inches you're basically scoring at three and a half inch intervals for this we can cut off the excess piece and uh, use it for uh, other components of this envelope we're now going to cut out two flaps uh, which need to be slightly smaller than the base that we just scored. So because our base was three and a half by five and a half, we're going to cut these out at 3.25 inches and 5.25 inches. So basically just keeping them 0.25 inches shorter uh, than the base that we just uh, scored. So this base will actually fold over and form a sort of a tube in which these flaps are going to go inside and then function as the slider. So once the two flaps are cut, I uh, went ahead and die cut a pocket. So you should basically have one piece which is 5.5 by 11 inches, scored as shown. But the two flaps, 3.25 by 5.25 inches, and these uh, fit our base, slightly smaller than the base, and then a die cut piece for the pocket. Now the one inch strip that we had uh, marked out, we're going to cut out slots in that strip and this strip actually is going to hold the belt, um, the belly belt that will, uh, that helps the flaps slide in and out. Uh, when you're cutting out the slots, you need to be uh, very careful and ensure that the slots are cut out very neatly and the cut is very smooth uh, because we don't want the sliding belt to get stuck in it as that will um, prevent the movement of the flaps. So for the belt I am using a polythene uh, strips that I have cut out of a polythene bag. Um, these are pre-cut and they are a little uh, broader than an inch as you can see here. Um, so in length uh, this uh, since our uh, flap base is um, five and a half inches we need to make sure that our polythene strip is at least 12 inches uh, for the width as you can see this is a little broader i'm going to trim it to one inch um, it, this doesn't have to be exactly an inch but a little under an inch would do because we need to ensure that it moves smoothly uh, we're going to adhere the edges of the belt together using double sided sticky tape and we're going to ensure that both there are no loose ends so we're going to apply tape on both the edges as you can see here right, and once done we're going to stick it down and move the joint towards one side and then I'm, uh, we're going to crease the score lines to form the tube right so this is what it's going to look like and you can see that the belt is hidden deep inside and it's not very visible and that's why we cut out the slots uh, now moving on to the decorative uh, cardstock, I'm using a uh, cardstock by um, Simple Stories and this is the Let's Party theme. There's a 12 by 12 inch piece and two 6 by 6 inch pieces that I'm working with. Uh, this cardstock is, was actually part of a kit that was sent over by Artful Crafting and if you, you know, would like to purchase some, you can always go, go online and order. Um, the piece, the decorative card is being cut at, um, this is being cut at 2.5 inches less than the flaps that we cut out. So this is basically 3 inches by uh, 5 inches. So I'm not really cutting out the length because we can trim that out later. Um, now for the uh, for the larger uh, i'm using the 12 by 12 inch cardstock for the uh, for the decorative pieces that go on top of the tube that we uh, scored and folded earlier so this is going to be 3.25 inches by 5.25 uh, inches because our base is three and a half by five and a half 
so we, we just need two pieces for this one that will go on the top and the other one that will go on the back because our third flap is folded inside now for the pocket I cut out this uh, die cut I die cut this piece from the spellbinders die and I'm, I'm using the largest two dies for this um, the pattern paper is cut out of the second largest die and now uh, I'm just going to adhere all these pieces all pieces together by using some ADX glue now because I have kept uh, stripes on the outer panel on the tube in which these flaps will be going so I'm going to use the polka dots for the flaps uh, out of the two flaps one flap is going to hold the pocket and the other flap will remain um, you know plain so the one that will have the pocket I've decided to use the polka dot pattern on that because it will look a little more colorful and bright And for the other flap which um, will not hold the pocket for that I'm using the confetti design for that so that it has enough place um, you know for the uh, individual handing this over to write a personalized message for the recipient now for the length you're just going to um, I'm just snipping off the excess cardstock Now for the uh, we need uh, we need a tab uh, for the plain flap that we have in there and this tab uh, will work um, will help us pull the slide the two flaps out so I've basically just cut this out using the die and as you can see it's a little taller for my liking so I'm just going to go ahead and trim it a little further about 0.25 inches from the base and then I'm just going to adhere it to my flap using ADX glue. So I like using this glue because it dries clear and it uh, keeps the project very clean plus it's also very forgiving and if you make a mistake you can always reposition the cardstock and uh, it lets you do that quite easily. Right now coming to our die cut piece uh, you will notice that I am not uh, centering the pattern paper onto the black base um, because I just want to give it a narrow border on the top. The sides will uh, be will need to be scored and we're going to cut off the base because the sides need to wrap around uh, our flap to form the pocket as you can see here right. so once uh, measured I am just uh, scored the sides of the flaps uh, to make it uh, to form the wings and just making sure that they're nice well uh, they creased well and that they fit the flap properly now I'm going to apply uh, glue to the wings and also to about half an inch on the base because we don't want this pocket to be really deep and once we are when we are adhering this pocket to the flap we need to make sure that it is not aligned to the bottom of the flap but it is at least one inch um, you know on the inside it's like above one inch above the base now we I'm, uh, we begin by placing the plain tab in the center of the tube that we had uh, initially folded and then apply about an inch of sticky tape on the belt on the polythene belt as you can see here and then we just push it down so that it adheres to the flap now please uh, if you're applying uh, the adhesive to the left hand side for the base flap then you need to apply it on the right hand side for the top flap and when you're gluing these flaps down you need to make sure that the pattern side uh, needs to be facing you so that when you um, when you uh, pull the flap out it's the right side uh, you know the flaps show up on the right side and not the other way around and don't stick down more than an inch because that won't allow the belt to roll and function the way you want it to right so now that we have the pocket also adhered uh, we are just going to close the tube that we had initially, uh, initially scored and insert the flap under the top uh, pocket flap and then glue it down and secure it making sure that it's stuck well then we testing it out to make sure it's functioning properly and it is functioning all right then just adding decorative paper to the top and the bottom and then adding some decorative elements um, our sliding envelope is ready i hope you enjoyed this tutorial for any com if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and i shall respond as soon as possible have a great day bye bye